Hey, um, what I'm recommending tonight, it's just a quick one. I just, it just came to me while I was just sat down having a cup of tea, because I'm English. And that's what you do, you have a cup of tea. A cup of tea, a cup of tea. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But I just wanted to do a quick recommendation for what in my mind is the best collection of an ongoing ser series that you can get. Um, it's good value, you get loads of pages, it's quite sturdy and it doesn't really matter if you miss a volume because each volume is kind of complete in itself and that's, you, I think I'm going to say it right, I might must have butcher it, but Yusagi Yojimbo, Yojimbo, Yojimbo. Now, I know there's been a Netflix cartoon but ignore that because they've basically taken the concept and butchered it. But Yusagi Ojimbo has been around for blooming ages. I think at least 30 years, if not longer. Could be going on 40 years. Um, and it's basically about this samurai um, bunny. <laughs> but even though it's funny animal artwork, but... It might be funny, funny animal artwork, but it's absolutely amazing. And even though it's cartoony, it's so detailed and it's just so attractive to look at. And the the characters so nuanced, 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 so detailed. There we go. <laughs> um, that you forget after reading it for a while that you're actually reading about rabbits and foxes and bears and tigers. Um, but you actually you see them as people. It's a bit like um, what. Um, was done with Mouse by Art Spiegelman where you forgot that the, you ended up just seeing the symbolism of the animals more than the, the animals themselves you saw them as people in the end and it's the same with this and it's just I, for me for me, it's just a classic um, samurai saga it goes from town to town and the adventures that it gets up to it just, they're just so interesting um, it's intelligent but it's not wordy it's fun, it's humorous it's action packed, it's got depth it's got everything that you don't expect from a, car a cartoon book basically um, and I'd say I'd recommend it for, it's suitable for anybody from ages 11 upwards I've got four I've got four of the big volumes um, and there's each volume has at least over 600 pages in and they're only $29.99 which is it's a steal when you think about an average comic now it's three ninety nine or four ninety nine to get all that and it's got gorgeous colour artwork gallery in as well um, so I mean look at that it's, it's absolutely beautiful yeah so in my mind I know a lot of people like omnibuses and all these luxury volumes and stuff but for me this is as they say the dog's doodars um, because it's good value it's not it's he it's big but it's not too heavy uh, I think I just think a paperback sometimes especially a good quality one like this is much more appealing to read you can just sit up in your bed and read it Whereas with an omnibus, you're like straining and struggling and it could be a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, if you want to get into a graphic novel series, I recommend that. Gives you satisfaction, keeps you entertained. It's as exciting as watching a really good um, samurai film. Um, and it's got all the... It, oh yeah, there's even appearances by... Our beloved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in one of the early stories. So it's got a bit of everything for everybody. So yeah, buy it. Stan Sakai, he is a master illustrator. Um, he used to be a colorist for Gru. I think he still is when they do Gru series. But he's kind of, I think for the past 10 years, he's more and more people are finding out about Usagi and realizing what. A gem of a series it is and 
I love American comics, but I get tired of. There's only I can, I reach the limit with superhero comics, um, and I like to cleanse my palate. So sometimes I'll get a European album, or what used to be Vertigo, or a manga book, and this is the same kind of thing. It th kind of fills that gap. It just cleanses your palates, um, gives you so a different story sensibility to get into but it's got all the excitements what you and the same kind of buzz what you get from a superhero comic you get from reading this uh, honestly I think there's very very few comics that are on the, the continuous quality that this is um, I know that um, the comic now is done by IDW and it's in colour nowadays but I, I do love the old black and white series because his artwork just it pops in when there's no colour with it because he's just got so much life in his drawings. Um, yeah, I mean, if I ever had a tattoo, <laughs> I think I'd go for a, a little samurai rabbit because look how cool that is just cool. Yeah, I'd have a tattoo of a samurai rabbit on my head, on my eye, just like that, like um, Mike Tyson. But it'd be a rabbit with a sword. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I just film these things. I don't know what I'm saying. It's like Tourette's, but about comics. So, anyway, I'm going to go because I wasn't meant to be doing one tonight. But such is my scatty brain that I get an idea and I've got to do it. So that's it. Bye. And I shall... Do another video in the next few days. Hopefully Sunday. All depends if my parcels come on time. Okay, bye. Oh, and happy pride.